Hi there everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I'm the Style Coach. Today we're back with another colour analysis with Anne. Thanks for being here, Anne. Thank you, Sarah. So uh, as you can see, Anne has her white cape on to give us a blank canvas. I'm also going to ask her to put um, a hairnet on just because we're focusing in on the skin at this stage of the analysis. So let's do that. By the way, if you're interested in an online or in-person colour consultation, please do get in touch. I'll leave some details down below. Okay, and the first thing we're going to do is look at your undertone. Mm -hmm. So you're either going to be cool or warm. Okay, so first of all, we're looking at this cool color. And when you see the first color, it's kind of hard to say, well, is it good, is it bad? Sometimes we need to compare it to what we see next. So underneath, you're going to see this more orangey color, which is the warmer one. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna see what we see, if we notice something, maybe it's obvious, maybe it's not, that's okay. We'll figure it out as we go along. So let's have a look. Ready? Not so sure about the orange. Yeah, okay. Um, what is it you're seeing or not seeing or? Skin look a little bit more alive, I think, with the first one, mm -hmm. this one, yeah. Um, we make it just a little bit duller. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. this is picking up maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely think it's kind of brighter. Yeah. Too early to say just yet. Yeah. Okay. But we'll, we'll take, take a look at a few more colours. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look at another set. Mm. Okay, so now we've got, it's still a cool colour. A little bit lighter this time and underneath we're going to have a salmon color which is warmer oh gosh definitely <laughs> the first one <laughs> yeah. yeah so so this powder pink and the salmon are usually telltale ones or are they yeah okay. they usually okay. are some other colors are not so obvious as we'll see as we go through yes. but yeah. yeah we can definitely see the difference here yeah 100 percent yeah okay. yeah all right <laughs> Success. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that was a clear uh, point Pretty, to the cool okay. side. Okay. We have a cool navy. Navy, okay. And then underneath, um, a brown, which is on the warmer side. Oh, I think definitely navy. Yeah. Yeah, I like navy anyway. Mm hmm yeah um, it, I think definitely maybe yeah yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. I, I don't think this is as obvious as the uh, powder pink and the salmon that difference yes but definitely still on the, the navy on the navy is, yeah. okay yeah mm, that's interesting silver which is yes. cool cool versus gold oh god I think I must be an obvious silver is it <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I definitely skin's just much brighter it is isn't it yes yeah. yeah definitely and we lose that with the gold yeah it's just not not doing it for me really is it <laughs> no um, no no okay we have white versus a warmer oh gosh I love the warmer one but I think it is the white um Yes, I think the white. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, we're on the cooler side. Sorry, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I still want to double check with uh, using metallics okay. as well. Okay. So some more metallics on you. Mm -hmm. Dulling my eyes, kind of the warmer mm, tones. Yeah, do, yeah. I definitely think. This, yeah. yeah this be careful not at this point to be drawn into the eyes because it is the skin. It's the skin we're yeah, kind of it's, focusing it's on. The undertone. Okay. Yeah. We'll just do that the other way around as well. Silver first. Yeah. Still. Pink, the silver. Yeah, it's 
it's it's not terrible, but it's just not giving it's the light and the brightness. brightness. Yes. So bronze. Again, it's not it's not terrible it by any means. No, it's not. I don't think so. Uh, and yet, I think that's more striking. Yeah. As in. Yeah. 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 I think that's much better. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Definitely yeah. much better, Sarah. Yeah. We have been looking at cool versus warm, and it looks like you're on the cooler side, which means you're either going to be a winter or a summer. The difference is the intensity of these colors. If you can tolerate the high intensity colors of winter, um, if they match you, then you're up here on this side. Mm -hmm. However, if they're overpowering on you, if we see the colors first, we need to start focusing more on the summer colors. All right. So what we're going to see now uh, is all cool colors. So this is where it gets tricky because tricky. we know that the coolness works for you. Yes. However, we need to figure out, okay, now it's about the intensity. Is This is a spectrum again. So what I'm going to show you is a very bright and clear color versus a very soft and muted color. Okay. But there is somewhere in between. Right. So we've got to have a general feeling if you can tolerate the... The more intense colours, or do we need to tone it down and go into the more muted colours? Right. We've got to say, you know, the, does this colour feel like you're the main feature of uh, what we see here, or is the colour stealing the limelight uh, compared to an emerald green? Okay, so I think the emerald kind of steals the yeah, limelight. Yeah, it did, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, the, the soft might be a little bit too soft, but I think between the two of them, it's a better direction. Let's try that yes. in front of you as well. Okay. So this is nice and gentle. It's, it is. It's probably a little bit too, too gentle, gentle. Yes. but we're in the right zone, I yes. think, okay. compared to... That's quite... That's quite... Um, it's very strong. It is strong. And, and you could go for something like this for a special occasion or, you know, if you're attending a wedding or something, you know, you yes. can dip outside your everyday wardrobe. But we've got to think, what's your everyday yeah. wardrobe going to be based on? Yes. Is it these bright colours or do we need to go a little bit more subtle? Okay. Yeah. And let's try another set. Let's do pink. Let's see how pink looks. So we've got this softer powder pink and, okay, hmm. that's quite strong. It is quite strong. Um, I do like it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <sighs> maybe for my skin colouring it could be a little bit much. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, there's kind of a big difference between the two in there terms is. of color, really, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, they're extremes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. they're very much extremes, and that's yeah. where we've got to find where you are within yes. this. Yeah. But in general, uh, I think going for something a little bit softer, not maybe as soft. soft. Yeah. Um, but it, I think going in this direction could be. I, I mean, I see the color before I see your eyes, okay. and that should never be the case. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You know, the yes. eyes should never be overpowered. Powered. Yeah. So All right. I think we need to be going in the softer, in the softer direction. direction. Oh, All right. Yeah. All right. Would you say that's about right? 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. This graph again. So going uh, into cool and a softer direction, low intensity, would have in you summer. in the summer. Okay. However, if we turn over. Complication. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there won't be a test, don't worry. Um, we've got three sub seasons within summer. And they all have their little differences. Um, the dials are changed slightly. So with cool summer, it's the coolness that is the most obvious thing about this set of colors. So you're gonna see no warmth here at all. And given what we saw before that, 
you know, you were pretty consistent in the, the coolness, but I don't think it was very obvious with a lot of the colours, you know. All right. So I'm wondering already, well, is cool your dominant characteristic? Mm, I'm not sure. Right. The second most important thing here is that it is quite, um, the, it's a muted palette, but stronger than soft summer. So you're going to see more punch in these colours. Mm -hmm. In light summer, the main thing here is that the colours are light, that there's a lot of white added to them and there's not a lot of depth. It's more of a neutral cool space in terms of the temperature. Right. And in soft summer, you would have seen a couple of those colours already. This is where the colours are very soft and delicate and they're neutral cool. Okay. Yeah. So I'll show you these three subseason palettes and we'll maybe try and eliminate one right. or two and ideally two. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, or it could be the case that we say you know what I like all of these and that would be a true summer okay in a rare case <laughs> <laughs> so let's have a look at the three sub seasons of summer um I won't tell you which one we're looking at maybe oh right sometimes, yes. sometimes okay. that influences mm -hmm. the way we, we think, think. Um, yes yeah So hold those in your mind yes. as we compare them to another set. All right. Okay. So yes. they all had the same characteristics. They're all from the same sub season. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'd, I'd like to see them again myself actually. Mm -hmm. First one throws me a little bit just the first colour on that because I think it's kind of a little bit dull, but I right. think it's not about the, the, the pattern there. Sure. Um, okay. I do love that and I love the blue. Yeah. Um Okay. Yeah, that's I do like that one on you. So do I, I think it's beautiful. Mm. I really, really like that colour. It just about it matches everything about it does. your features, I think. Yes, I think it works well with my hair colouring. Yeah. Um, and your eyes as well. It's almost the same colour or picking up the colour in your it, eyes. Yes, as well. exactly. Yes. Your yeah. skin looks great. Um, I do really like that colour. It's kind of caught my eye the first time around as mm. well. So. That's interesting. So if we were to compare the greens from the other palettes, okay, so this, this was another green that we saw. Yes. Now, I do like that as well. It's just, I think the other one is more, is it more reflective or something? Um, mm -hmm. I think it's a bit more adventurous. Maybe the other one's a bit safer. Okay. In terms okay. of, like if we wear something, shirt in it that yes. this is a little bit more 
which I said more vibrant or something. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It lifts okay. the face a little bit. Yes, that that's a good observation as well to to notice that we we always want our colors to lift. You know ourselves. Yeah, exactly. And our, and that's our it, features. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So let's take a look at another green that we saw. See, I think I kind of blend in too much with that one. Yeah, um, it's gone a bit too light. It's gone a bit too light. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so at this point, to be sure that we are moving in the correct direction, we're going to do a cross check with the sister seasons. Okay. So, when I talk about the sister seasons, it's the season that shares the dominant characteristic. So for cool season. summer, uh, cool winter is the sister season. So coolness is the dominant feature, no other uh, sub-season has cool as the dominant characteristic so these two are paired together technically if you're a cool summer which that was the one that we like the most mm -hmm. uh, you could wear some of cool winter not all of them that's okay but it's the yes. coolness that's for oh, right. you yes we'll also just check in with light summer against light spring mm -hmm. the difference here is you're going to see brighter colors and slightly warmer and with soft summer, you're, we're going to pair that with soft autumn. These are going to be a little bit darker, a little bit warmer as well. And the idea is that we can comfortably say, yes, I could borrow some, not all of the colours, but some of the colours. Okay. okay. Yeah. So let's start with cool winter. So these colours get brighter and they also have a little bit more depth in them. Still very cool, mm -hmm. okay. And it could be the case that if we don't like any of the sister seasons, we return and say, well, is it possible that you're a true summer and you just stay, stay. in those three palettes? Okay, yeah. That could, that's yeah. still a possibility. possibility. Okay. Do you feel about that as a sister season? Yeah, I quite like it. Yeah. Um, yes, I like the the navy. I like. Um, mm. I like the blue. Yeah. Just the only one would be the um, the red. Or is that maroon or red? Yes. Um, yeah. Just not so sure about that one. That's fine. We again, we don't yeah. have to love all of these because it's, it's not just your primary palette. And maybe it is okay. Yeah. yeah, it wouldn't be my favourite on you know what we've seen. But and that's, that's okay. exactly how I feel about it yes. as well. Okay. Yes, yeah. okay, yes. that's perfect. Yeah. Okay, we just, you know, we just need to say, you know what, that's a good combination of palettes, palettes. to you okay. and to you. you mm -hmm. know. Uh, so let's have a look at soft autumn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the face gives it away, doesn't it? <laughs> vibrant with the colours. Mm -hmm. Love that colour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really do like that mm -hmm. colour. And it's interesting, we'll see if you are drawn to some of the other colours because uh, any kind of purples or blues, they're naturally cool, they can be made warm. Yes. But it's interesting that you're already drawn to Don't a cooler, cooler colour color. yes. of the warmer warm. set, you yeah. know. As a blue, I don't like it, mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah. Uh, the warmer colors. Yeah, I'm. I, I I don't like peach. I just don't think it does mm -hmm. anything for me. Yeah. God, that's a bit. No, oh, yes. No. Yeah, I don't think so. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the the sister seasons of um, light summer and soft summer were really a strong. No. No. Okay. Yeah. So that brings us back to, um, are we going to say yes to cool summer with cool winter as a kind of a support season, a sister season, mm -hmm. or 
Um, are we going to say that the combination of all the sub-seasons of summer are actually better than the combination of the two cool seasons? Yes. Right? So yes. let's let's do that again. Let's have okay. another look. So I know this one wasn't your, your favourite and that's okay. Okay, so these are your cool summers. I do like that pink. I know, I don't know why... Someone said to you that you pink I really know, wasn't. I know, pink wasn't your color. Yeah. Um, it has to I, be the right pink. I, that's it. And maybe yeah. that's what I need to find out. Yeah. Because yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I do love pink. Um, yeah. And you can wear it well. Well, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But yeah. it's got to have the blue undertones to it. Okay. Yeah, that's yes. the key yes. for you. Yeah. 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 That's a great, great blue. It's not, it's not too, yes, too overpowering. It's just kind of on the right side yes. of it. Yeah. And then we've got that gorgeous and I love that. duck egg kind of colour. Yeah, it's my favourite of all yeah. the colours today, I think actually is that colour. Yeah. It's um it's really nice. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've gotta say well we know that's a yes either way, but is it going to be yes with cool winter as your sister season? So do I actually, yes, yeah. I like that. And I do like that yeah. blue as well. I do yeah. like most, yeah, I do like those colours yeah. actually. I think they're quite, yeah. quite nice. Yeah. Um, so we prefer these, that combination to move forward with rather than saying, okay, let's, yeah, I think these get too light. Yeah. I think you need a little bit more. A little bit of a lift. Um, yeah. yeah. I think that's, yeah. Don't mind the blue now, I like yeah. that blue actually. Yeah. Um, and I don't not mad about that. Yeah, they start yeah, to get too blue. Like I like that, don't yes, they? yeah. Okay, so I think it's safe to say that cool summer, cool summer is your palette, is your season, mm -hmm. um, and then your sister season being cool winter. Okay. Okay. Yes. Let's do a little recap though. All right. We were looking at warm colours compared to cool colours and the cool colours. Because they're definitely, yes. yes. Yeah, there's no yeah. in between, I think, really, should there's not. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly, and that's yeah. where we arrived at. Cool is your dominant characteristic. Yes. So whenever you're buying something, your first question is going to be, do I see coolness in this colour? Do I see the blue undertones? Mm -hmm. Takes a while to train the eye to see that. Yes. But you you move towards cool and you stay away from stay the there. Warm. So <laughs> all the the fall autumn colors that you see in the shops now, <laughs> not for you. Not for me. Okay. Not for you. We winter, winter time, stay away from shopping. <laughs> Some brighter colors, which were just a little bit too bright compared to the softer colors, mm -hmm. worked better. Now you are on the kind of higher intensity of a softer season yes uh, within this but yeah. better than <clears throat> the, the very bright colors yeah of winter okay yeah. okay yeah. and you're not an autumn <laughs> okay so yeah. these colors are warm they're deep the thing they have in common with summer is that they're a softer palette. That's about it but really it's not somewhere you're going to be visiting <laughs> okay <laughs> You're not a spring. Okay. Mm -hmm. Too bright, too, too warm. Bright. Okay. Some of the lighter colours and maybe the blues, possibly a purple, maybe you could go there. Yes. Uh, but really it's not a palette to work from. All right. Okay. You're not a winter, although some of the cool winter colours can work well for you. Mm -hmm. So you might be able to borrow this pine green here, possibly yes. this blue. Um, I don't think black. No. No. <laughs> oh, I might clear out the wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> um, black is just going to be possibly too harsh, too deep uh, for you. And even a true white, you're best off going for an off-white. Uh, something slightly softer than a pure white is best for you. Okay. And that means you are a summer. 
I'm a summer athlete. Never have thought it. There you go. So, um, particularly you're a cool summer. Mm -hmm. So some of the colors you'll see like this kind of gray, possibly too light or too soft. So you need to have a good bit of punch in your colors. Uh, like, you know, these kind of turquoise, the navy is all good for you, the blues, uh, even some of these pinks, but um, maybe this kind of, that's kind of a bit too soft for you up here. Okay. Um, so there you go. So we'll take a look at all your colors on you. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's pretty. That's nice, it? isn't it? Isn't it very nice? That's a beautiful color red, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of... Um, it's almost like watermelon kind of... Uh, it is. A pinky it's just, red. Yeah. There's, and I'm not saying there's a shimmer in it, but there's definitely some sort of life in it. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I love it. Actually, I think that's really nice. That's beautiful. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, there are, you've got some, you've got a good amount of, you know, life in your colours. And the selection I showed you there, it's a small selection. It's small, you yeah. know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'll put these all out yeah. in the plan so you can see them all together. How do you feel looking at those? And it could be very hard colours to shop for sale. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I just not even my control of words. I know. But um, keep in mind that it's not about finding these exact colours. Yeah. It's about finding a colour that feels like it belongs to this family. Okay. So if I was to go out and get something like, you know, pick up this and go, like, it clearly doesn't belong. No, it doesn't. I know. Yes. You know. Yes. We want to just make sure that we can say consciously that something feels like it belongs to the family. So if you're picking up a red, I mean, there's, you know, an endless amount of red yeah. out there. But we've got to say, you know, when you get your colour palette and you're thinking, does it belong? You know, that looks like it belongs. Mm -hmm. Okay, it doesn't have to be an exact. That, yes. Because that'll, that'll drive you mad. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you know? I know. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. you know, don't get caught up in trying to be too exact too. in your, okay. your colours. Yes. Um, but um, these, I mean, there's so much life in these, and just yeah, and there's no black, okay? So and, no black. <laughs> and no beiges. <laughs> no, 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 no. You could go for something like um, like a rose beige. Like if you're thinking of you know your classic trench coat or something, you'd be going for more of a that kind of a color, which oh, is still okay. cool. Oh, that's okay. interesting. Yeah, isn't it? it's still cool. Um. Or even this kind of a, a rose beige. Oh, right. Okay. Rather than rather than the white a camel. A camel, exactly. Yes. Okay. Which has gone too warm. Yes. So these are your kind of, you know, your classic coat or something like that. You know, that could be something these you could wear. Yeah, they're yeah. nice. They're yeah, nice. they they're are actually nice. very nice. They're yeah. Different as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you could wear that as a coat. You know, it may not be one of your best colors. Yes, uh, I get but in you. terms of something a little bit more neutral, you know, you could go for something like that. All right. Um, your your dark neutral is going to be more of a charcoal than black. Charcoal. That's about as as far as deep. I can push it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you know, keep wearing your your um black until mm -hmm. they're no good anymore. That's fine. Oh yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But going forward. Yes start to work with the colour palette. Yes, of course, yeah. The best thing you can do is if you have something in your wardrobe now that you feel, gosh, that's not really the best colour I realise now, you get a great scarf. And okay. you separate. And you separate them. That's the easiest thing to do. Okay, yeah. That's a, a good place to start. That's a good start. plan, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah. So, Anne, there's your best colours for you. A beautiful summer palette, which you look absolutely gorgeous in. Thank you very much, Sarah. So, uh, we'll leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching. And I do hope to see you again next week for another video. Take care. See you soon.